So I think the question of the day here, folks, is did Joe Biden just checkmate Donald Trump on this border executive order that he just signed yesterday that shuts down the border if more than 2,500 migrants try to cross the border in a given day? So to help answer that question, folks, they had Alejandro Mayorkas that was on Morning Joe, and he also answered that burning question of why did it take so long? took so long to get to this place. So we can go well before the legislation that a group of senators, bipartisan group of senators, work hard to present. And then, of course, uh, Republicans in the Congress turn their backs on it on the instruction of Donald Trump. But going back even further than that, uh, a system that allows people to show up at the border, claim asylum, sometimes legitimately, sometimes not, and then move into the country because they know it's going to take years for their asylum hearing to come up. Why did it take so long to get to this place, which does seem rational to many people? Well, two points. First of all, you have seized accurately upon the fundamental problem with our asylum system, that it takes years and years, and we need Congress to fix it. Only Congress can provide the enduring solution, which is legislation. But let's take a look at the chronology. On day one of his administration, the president presented Congress with a comprehensive legislation to fix our broken immigration system. Um, since then and up until May of last year, we have been operating under the pu public health order of Title 42. When that order was lifted in May of last year, we drove the numbers down despite uh, some predictions that pandemonium would ensue. So exactly what is Title 42, folks? And take a look at this. So this article is coming to us from WOLA. It's the Advocacy for Human Rights in the Americas. And it says, and they're talking about last May, May 11th is the final day for the Trump and Biden administration's Title 42 policy, which undid the basic right to seek asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border for 38 months. Now, 2.8 million migrant expulsions later, the U.S. government is reverting to immigration law as it existed before the world went into lockdown. So that's in sharp contrast to that whole notion that people during the Biden administration have just been running over the border when, in fact, almost three million migrants have been sent back over the border trying to get into the United States. They continued, folks, with this. Shortly thereafter, the president implored Congress to fund this department and other departments that administer our immigration laws as we need to be resourced. He, in August, submitted a supplemental um, funding package. Then again in October, he submitted another supplemental funding package. And neither was picked up by Congress, most regrettably, most unfortunately. We then went into an arduous, hardworking process to develop bipartisan Senate legislation that would have fundamentally fixed our asylum system and once and for all properly resourced this department and the Departments of Justice and State. Twice Congress mm -hmm. failed to pass that legislation, and so the, so the president took this executive action within his lawful authorities. So let's take a look at that bipartisan legislation, folks, that he was talking about, and that was spearheaded by Senator James Lankford, who put this package together and was really fighting for its passage until John, Donald Trump basically vetoed it from Mar-a-Lago. So they had Senator Lankford on Neil Cavuto's show, which is a Fox News show, and Neil Cavuto, obviously a Republican, but he points the finger, Neil Cavuto points the finger straight at Donald Trump. Not trying to zing your colleagues, but it's your colleagues in your party, sir, who torpedoed this, who, 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 who didn't get the facts right on what you just outlined was in that measure. They killed it. Ironically, not Democrats. Right. It, it was, and it was painful to be able to watch it. It got stirred up in all the presidential politics, and several of my colleagues started looking for ways. Uh, after President Trump said, don't fix anything uh, right. during the presidential election, it's the single biggest issue during the election, don't resolve this, we'll resolve it next year. 
quite a few of my colleagues backed up, looked for a reason to be able to shoot against it, and then walked away. I get that. That's a that's a decision everybody makes in it. My issue is we can if we're pursuing everything, we very often end up with nothing. If we're pursuing someone coming later to fix it, later seems to never come. When we have a moment to fix things, we should fix as many things as we can then, then come back later and fix the rest. That's on Donald Trump. Exactly. Senator. That, again, he's, he's got an office that he's running for. He's got a campaign that he's running. I'm already in office. I've got a responsibility to be able to mm -hmm. carry on this. So he's got a campaign that he's running, folks. So here's what Donald Trump said about that whole border bill. So this is the Hill.com, and they quote Donald Trump as saying, only a fool or a radical left Democrat would vote for this horrendous border bill, which only gives shutdown authority after 5,000 encounters a day when we already have the right to close the border now, which must be done. He went on to say this bill is a great gift to the Democrats and a death wish for the Republican Party. It takes the horrible job of the Demo that the Democrats have done on immigration and the border, absolves them, and puts it all squarely on the shoulders of Republicans. So one of the things about that bill is that it shut the border down after 5,000 encounters a day, and the legislation that Joe Biden signed shuts it down at 2,500 a day. So let's hear what Donald Trump had to say about that executive order that Joe Biden signed just yesterday. Trump also criticizing President Biden's new executive order that blocks migrants from seeking asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border when illegal crossings surge past 2,500 a day. This is a public relations executive order, and it's meaningless. So this is a public relations executive order in its meaningless. Never mind the fact that it actually is better than the legislation. But, of course, you can do more, much more in the legislation. You can actually assign more asylum judges, which we desperately need. So there's things that you have to do anyway where we need the legislation. But the fact of it is, when it comes to people coming over the border, this is better than the legislation, which obviously could have been a starting point, a negotiation I get that. But to the question of did Joe Biden just checkmate Donald Trump? I think he did. And Donald Trump, it's now your move. 